Hi everybody, this is Danny, Stephen and Jack from FrontStretch.com. We're here at Auto Club Speedway in Fontana where we've had 700 miles of amazing racing. The great news is that we've had wonderful weather all day. We haven't had snow, we haven't had hail, it's been absolutely beautiful. We even had a gorgeous sunset in turn four down there uh, during the Xfinity race. And really what a wonderful way to close out this uh, chapter at Auto Club Speedway. And what a way, what a chapter to begin for Kyle Busch at Richard Childress Racing. Um, he was, he went from the back to the front to the back to the front again. He was the fastest car at the very end when it mattered the most, and he scored his 61st win. His, um, and he, bro he uh, broke Richard Petty's uh, consecutive winning season streak with 19 in a row. Um, there are other comer covers that go throughout the day. Ross Chastain was probably the best car, although he fell off towards the end. But with with the passing and all the inner in the wide lanes here, there was comers and goers. Uh, Chase Elliott went from 33rd to 2nd. Uh, Truex went from two laps down to 11th. Brad spun, Keselowski spun, and he finished 7th after going a lap down. It was a, it was a great race, and like Danny said, it was a great uh, closeout to this, this chapter. Yeah, well, worth mentioning, you picked Kyle Busch to win this morning. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I picked Tyler Reddick, who had a truly terrible two races, uh, eliminated from the cup race in a crash, and just hit by everybody, hit everybody in the Xfinity race. Uh, the Xfinity race won by John Hunter Nemechek, whose father, Joe Nemechek, started the very first cup race here at Auto Club Speedway from the pole. His son, John Hunter, takes the final checkered flag on this iteration of the two-mile oval. Um, and I, I mean, you said it earlier, 700 miles of racing, no overtimes. This was a really old-school feeling weekend. Uh, you know, long green flag runs, cars spaced out but could still pass each other, and I think the, per the, the driver who showed up with the right car at the right time won both races, and I don't think you can really complain about that. Yes, um, it was a great weekend. It's going to be sad to see this place go, but we're excited to see what happens with the short track when it's ready. Um, next week's Las Vegas. That's all from the Front Stretch crew this week. We will see you all next week. Auto Club Speedway for one final race. It's the Diecast 500 featuring... Ross Chastain, Kaz Grala, and Kurt Busch, and Kurt Busch. coming out of retirement. We don't want you to pick, Jack, since we know that car's going to lose. So who, who's your pick, Stephen? I'm going to go with Ross. I'm going to go with Kurt, my man Kurt Busch. All right, here we go. And the green flag wave for one final time on the banking at Auto Club Speedway. Ross Chastain takes the lead, but now Bush is back in front. Bush pulling ahead, but here comes Chastain in his tire tracks. Bush makes a sudden move to the right. He gets stuck. Here comes Chastain. He stuck to Chastain wins. He made it the further. A, a quick addendum to that race that we just had, the last race here at Auto Club Speedway. Just want to note that Jack actually had Casgrala as his pick. And did you notice Casgrala didn't even move? <laughs> it's a curse. I, I uh, Don't let me pick your favorite driver. <laughs> this is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.